Hey Chat GPT, give me the the best way to make a hundred thousand dollars in the stock market. Welcome back to another humble trader video. We have a very special video today with Chat GPT. In today's video, I'm going to ask Chat GPT to give me the best AI stocks to trade and profit from. In this video, you're going to learn the hottest AI stocks to profit from right now, technical analysis of these AI stocks, the trading strategies to use, and how profitable it would be to trade them using ChatGPT's trading bot strategy. I hope ChatGPT can make us a very detailed trading watch list. As a day trader who's been trading in the stock market for the last 8 years, I'm going to be evaluating how in-depth the analysis is, how feasible it is for a human trader to follow it, and how profitable it would be based on the current market conditions. Who did not smash the like button on Humboldt Trader's video? This is the most boring response ever. Don't forget to smash the like button or... Okay, so let's get started with ChatGPT. So once you're on OpenAI, you want to go click Try ChatGPT. So I'm going to ask, Hey ChatGPT, what's the hottest AI stocks right now? To buy right now. What? Okay, maybe that's asked a different way. What's the hottest AI stocks right now? It says that some publicly traded companies are involved in the development and use of AI, including big tech, tech companies are Google, Microsoft, Amazon, and Facebook, as well as companies in other industries such as NVIDIA, Intel, and IBM. Okay, so let's take a look at the big techs first before we go on to the small caps. So we're gonna go to TradingView and use NVIDIA. So this is a pretty good pick from ChatGPT. NVIDIA is known for providing really powerful graphics cards that are really needed for computing power and data centers, which are necessary for any AI projects. NVIDIA currently has a multi-year partnership with Microsoft to build one of the most powerful computers in the world. So let's take a look at the basic technical analysis on TradingView right now. I'm going to use my indicators for SMA, which is a simple moving average, as well as daily VWAP over here. So you can see that NVIDIA since 2021, the middle of 2021, has since then started dropping from over 340s to a low of $100. Um, earlier um, in the middle of 2022 and now since then it's crossed over 200 SMA to a nice bounce over to um, over $200 once again and as you can see on the daily charts ever since the stock had crossed over the 200 SMA right you can see it broke down the 200 SMA at April of 2022 and really sold off hard from 240s down all the way to 160 and 120 and $100. But since then, ever since you know, the lows of 100 in October 2022, it's reclaimed over 200 SMA once and twice here in January of 2023. And now it's kind of like led like a really nice rally over to 218s um, on the daily chart. So you know, this 200 SMA, it's a very general guideline of whether the stock is bullish or, sh or bearish short term with the, on the big picture on the daily chart. Okay, so now that we review the overall sentiment on NVIDIA, let's ask ChatGPT how we should be trading the stock. Create a trading strategy for NVIDIA stock. As an AI language model, I cannot provide specific financial investment advice. Okay, so this response sucks. But with ChatGPT and a lot of other AI models right now, you need to be asking it very specific questions. So now, now let's see what kind of strategies we can trade with this NVIDIA. Now, if you watch our previous video using ChatGPT to create a trading bot, we're going to use the same trading strategy that the bot created and see how it's gonna do on NVIDIA stock. So to do that, stay on trading view. We're gonna go to Pine Editor. Let's find the script that it made last time for us. So as you can see, we're back in OpenAI. 
and we use, I think the strategy is this one. Um, so that's what ChatGPT created for us. An example of a strategy code in PineScript that buys when the price crosses over VWAP and shorts when the price crosses below VWAP. So we're gonna copy the code and let's see what it does. So once again, going back to TradingView, go to the Pine Editor. I'm gonna copy the code, copy and paste the code and change the VWAP period to 30. And let's see what we get. All right, let's see. So in our previous video, when we're using Tesla, the same strategy was actually quite profitable. But it's very interesting that now that we're using Nvidia, it's no longer profitable. Um, let's try a different code. Let's try this one. So let's try a different strategy that it gave us before. Okay, so with this, now you're starting to see some sort of profitability. I'm just going to edit the VWAP to 30. Okay, with a th with longer VWAP actually was not as profitable. So if you do year to date, um, with a trading bot strategy, you'll be lost um, $40 on this thing. Okay, but if we do six months, it's actually profitable. So as you can see, like if you're using various time frames to test the strategies, so if we test year to date, right? It's only made this trade so far. If you do six months, it's actually more profitable. Six months and six months on Nvidia, it's actually more profitable. And if you do like three months, it's, it's also profitable, okay? One month, okay. One month did it pretty well. Five days. Still profitable, okay. Yeah, it's only when you do one year, right? You can see the reason it didn't do well is because if when you do one year, you're taking into consideration all the downtrend from early 2022. This strategy that the AI bot has created works the best on stocks that's uptrending. So if you think about it, that's why when you go to six months, that's why you're the most profitable. Because the last six months on Nvidia, the stock started uptrending on the daily chart. And remember, crossing over the daily SMA. Yeah, so if you look at the, the chart on the year, um, one year, one daily chart for Nvidia, you can see ever since the stock started uptrending, if we use here in uh, end of October, that's when the strategy started working really well. So you see this is what within the last three months. That's why when you use the last three months, the strategy that AI created is the most profitable at $152 profit after trading 500 trades. You can see some of the very detailed stats that um, ChatGPT did uh, over here. Performance summary, uh, net profit, your, the win rate is pretty low, only about 35%. Profit factor, that's an issue here because uh, it's only when, when the bot risk a dollar, it's only making a dollar 27. So that's not good risk award, but I think it's a really good start. If you go to the list of trades, you can see that when it profits, it makes like $7. When it loses, it loses a dollar. So that's why it's still profitable. Okay, so now that we have Nvidia, let's try a couple other stocks that um, that ChatGPT suggested earlier. Microsoft, there's also a couple others. So Microsoft, let's see, on the one day, the stock also started uptrending lately, but I think you're gonna see very similar results in which um, the bot will only be profitable in the last three months. See, in the last three months, ever since Microsoft started uptrending, you can see with all the buys and sells, the stock had, um, the bot had become a little bit more profitable, netting about $76. So it's pretty clear right now with all these various examples on the AI stocks, if you're using ChatGPT's trading bot, if you're going on the long side, it would only work when the stock is uptrending on the daily chart. So that's why overall with all the examples we've seen, it works best in the last three months, in the last six months. Okay, so we saw the previous results for the mega caps for stocks like Nvidia, Amazon, Microsoft, and Google. They are great, but what if I want to trade the extremely volatile small cap stocks? All right, ChatGPT, what are the hottest AI stocks right now that have a market cap under 500 million? 
Let's see what it gives us. As an AI language model, I cannot provide financial investment advice. However, here are some AI-related stocks with a market cap under 500 million that have shown strong growth in the recent years. So let's see what it gave us. APEN Limited, APX, okay. Very, oh, I actually know this stock. Um, Veritone offers a proprietary operating system for AI applications. Okay, that's interesting. Baidu, I know this is a Chinese tech stock, but it's definitely not under 500 million. Okay. Before we move on to the results, if you're enjoying this video so far, please remember to spam chat GPT in the comment section below. So I'm not quite happy with the results. I want to ask you to give it more detail. Give me more examples. Okay, so chat GPT gave us a couple more stocks to look at. Let's see what they look like on the daily chart. Let's look at the first one, APPS. Okay, this is definitely a small cap stock. Yeah, I'm not gonna like this looks like a terrible pick from ChatGPT. Let's see if it's gonna be profitable with ChatGPT strategy. Okay, you can see that, you know, the reason the profits are so little is because the stock has been in a downtrend, right? Earlier in the video, we talked about this AI uh, trading bot only works when the stock is uptrending. So unfortunately, you know, this is a pretty, not a good pick. We wanna see some stocks, you know, with at least some, you know, consolidation on the daily chart. Let's try a different one. R-E-K-R is the next one. On the daily chart, it's been downtrending a lot. It's only been recently that it's been crossing over VWAP. So if we use the last three months, maybe it'll be more profitable. Okay, last three months, still not profitable. Okay, one month, that's when you will make three cents. Wow, hold three cents. No. Yeah, no, these, these are not great picks from, um, from ChatGPT. If we use Baidu, let's see. Okay, with Baidu, like a bigger stock, bigger market cap stock, it actually, you know, it's slightly better. Six months, you'll make about $30 on the stock. Three months, $48, wow. Yeah, three months, probably like the sweet spot um, for this stock, right? It's been downtrending, finally started reclaiming over VWAP and daily SMA to test the daily. So after looking through a lot of these tickers, there's actually a lot of mistakes um, in the answers they gave me. A lot of these tickers are not the below. There's not the right ticker for the company. So I'm gonna ask it even more specific questions. Okay. So I'm gonna ask which are the hottest AI stocks right now that have a market cap under 500 million and are publicly traded. I think earlier we didn't ask ChatGPT to look for only publicly traded companies. And that's why it gave us a bunch of answers that just not relevant. So we're gonna ask specifically for under 500 million and are publicly traded. So it gave me a bunch of, uh, a bunch of lists here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's good. Now I think a lot of these are private companies. So all the all of this, uh, I think, well, Baidu is definitely not under 500 million market cap. Uh, so all the all of this, I think we can only look at COGT, Cogent Inc. Okay, so we're gonna look at that one. So just doing a quick research on Google, um, they have changed their name to Fluent Inc. And now the publicly traded ticker for this same company is now FLNT. The reason ChatGPT gave me the wrong answer for the ticker and the company name is because the cutoff date for the data for ChatGPT is till September 2021. Anyways, so FLNT is the AI stock that ChatGPT is talking about. So this stock, you know, has a market cap of 127 million. Uh, floats is around 42. Um, so smaller float. So let's look at um, the daily chart, honestly, uh, it's been downtrending a lot on the daily chart. You can see multiple downtrend and multiple resistance, which it's testing right now around 170, 180s over here on the daily chart. 
uh, a lot of wicks on a daily chart. So this thing has a lot of sellers. Um, if it does break out, I think that's when you can see higher to like 220s, 230s on the stock. You know, you have a lot of resistance closer to like $2 range. Honestly, you know, this I'm not that impressed with this stock pick from chat GPT. This one, I wouldn't loan the stock. If it tests like these resistance, it'll be a good short actually, especially if it gets to $2 here and 220s mark. Then if you get a short on those on that level, then you can look for downside back to $2.170s, potentially below to 150s. And that's see how an AI strategy would do on the stock. If we go back to the strategy tester, the pine editor, we add it to chart, let's see. You can see that the profitability is very low because it's being a downtrending stock. This is uh, this chat GPT strategy is created mostly on the long side. So that's why, you know, it's not that profitable. You can see if you in the last six months, you will have lost five dollars. That's three months. You'll lose two dollars. Three. Yeah, you can see it's just not that profitable. Last five years, you will have made three dollars on the stock with the AI trading strategy. Yeah, so honestly, I'm not that impressed with the stock picks. But good thing I still have the help from you guys, my audience members. This morning, I posted on my Instagram story to pick AI stocks that you want me to look at in this video. Shout out to everyone who sent me a suggestion. I truly appreciate it. And here are the top three stocks for AI that you guys wanted to see. AI, S-O-U-N, and B-B-A-I. This stock has been up more than 100% year to date due to the hype and invested optimism in AI in general. This is a software company. They also recently announced that they are going to integrate OpenAI's language model and Google's into their own software line. So they're literally jumping on the bandwagon with ChatGPT. But nonetheless, as you can see on the chart, the stock has been very, very bullish ever since it broke out of the 200 SMA on this level here. Once it broke out of $15 here, you can see over 15, it went straight up with only like really minor pullbacks, straight up to, you know, 20, 24s, almost 30, pretty much $30 here on this day. So $30 wick here, you can see some resistance, all right? So $30 resistance, and since then it's pulled back to some previous levels here. Let's see. So some levels are on $21 and also $20 over here, $20. We'll call it 1950s, this range. So I actually like the stock and I personally want to be swing trading the stock. Before I tell you about my personal trading strategy on this name, let's see what the chat GPT's trading bot will do on the stock. So let's go back to Pine Editor. This is the, the AI bot that it made for the last video. We're gonna add it to chart. All right. So you can see overall on one year, it's only profitable for about $5. The win rate is better now though, 50% win rate. Yeah, so with the AI trading strategy that it made, it's okay. Like uh, you, you're profitable for about $35, but then you're trading with a $100,000 account. Okay, so let's talk about how I would manually trade the stock myself. Um, so for this one, I'm not looking to day trade the stock. I'm actually looking at swing trading the stock. So if you look at the support areas that we mapped out around 1950s and 21s, those are the areas I'm actually looking to go long on the stock. Um, I think I really like the pullback from $30 now down to $21. That's almost a 10 point pullback. So right now I have a thousand shares starter with an average about $21 swing trade long on the stock. I'm personally looking at if we're gonna consolidate around $19.50 and add. So I'm gonna start building a position around 19s and 20s with a stop loss under, under $19 as the loss. So if I'm risking the breakdown of $19, that's risking about $2 per share. Now, if the trade does work out, I'm looking for from $21 to retest the 25s so that's no decent upside, $4 upside, and eventually $28 and $30. So the upside risk reward is at minimum one to two. And if we really get $28 or $30, then that's a lot more. We're talking about one to four, one to five risk reward. 
This is a long idea originated from our swing trading chat room. So I already took a position. Let's see how it goes. Remember, I'm stopping out under $19. So C3AI, ticker symbol AI, is a stock that I'm interested in swinging long because it's actually not that small of a market cap and it has some proven business. But now we're going dumpster diving and look at some of the real speculative stocks. These will be the super small cap stocks that a lot of audience members suggested me to look at, such as SOUN, BBAI. You gotta live life on the edge sometimes, right? If you watch this video so far and you're about to go dumpster diving with me, let me know by dropping a poop emoji below. So let's take a look at the first one that a lot of people wanted to see. S-O-U-N. So Soundhound AI Inc. This is a very small market cap company of only like 650 million uh, market cap with a float of 119. Honestly, a daily chart doesn't look that good. Since the IPO at $7 to 18, it's now sold off all the way down to a low of a dollar. Oh, that's, that's just brutal. Since then, because of the AI hype, this thing has increased from a dollar to now around $4. So stocks like this are the kind that I will only treat as day trading vehicles, with some of them having really bad fundamentals and potential dilution. I wouldn't hold these small cap stocks overnight. So with this one, you know, I would only be interested on the short side, either risking the $5 area or wait for it to break out over fives and test the $7 area for a short. Next stock we're going to look at is BBAI. Bye bye so BVI, Big Bear AI Holdings. So let's see, market catalyst of 500 million, float of only 4.2. So this one is a potential runner. I think like if you look at the chart, it has ran a couple of times in the past before. Um, traded at like 92 cents here, broke out to a dollar, three dollars, now over four dollars mark, that's when it broke out to 650. And now it's kind of selling off back to $4. So with this one, I'm only interested in the short side once again, similar idea as SOUN. So if this thing does retest, you know, the five, minimum five, 520s area, previous resistance, or like the $6 range, then I'll look at the short side for the stock. These are the key levels for the short entries. I think this whole AI optimism is very exciting. This can create a lot more bullish momentum in a stock market, in both the large caps and the small cap stocks. As for using this AI bot or chat GPT to trade, as you see in this video, the results are kind of like hit and miss depending on the stock and depending on the sentiment of the market. I do think that using trading bots to execute trades is possible, but it requires a lot more um, constant updates and adapting to market conditions. But I'll definitely keep these AI stocks on watch and trade them for either day trading or swing trading over the next few weeks. If you're interested in seeing the $100,000 strategy that ChatGPT gave me to trade with, then check out this video over here. You're going to see the results of AI bots trading and learn how to build a strategy yourself. And I'll see you there. Thank you guys so much for watching as always. I'm the Humble Trader and I'll see you guys next time.